Welcome back to the show, everybody. Yo, yeah, as you see, the lights are dim a little bit because we're about to get into some theater time because, you know, there's a lot of Mortal Kombat going out there and Uncle Triple's a little behind. So we're going to take care of old business and new business, too, so don't worry about it. We have the last combat cast to watch because usually, usually, if you guys haven't noticed, usually this is done in a reverse order. Usually, I watch the combat cast on my own, and then we watch the trailer that was maybe not a part of the combat cast to see it from a different angle, and then we discuss it. But since that trailer was part of that place or something we won't mention, is we're going to watch the combat cast now, and then afterwards, I'm going to get on what the streets has been on, because I'll explain it when we get into that. I'll explain that then. Right now, Super Duper Muck the Magic Boss Girl, where you at, Yes, always. So, I'm finna relax. I, I got my water here, you know what I'm saying? The congregation, you know what I'm saying? They back there holding it down, you know what I'm saying? What's up, everybody in the back? I'm not trying to block anybody's way. I know they trying to get this hot Mortal Kombat action, too. So, with all of that being said, or with all of that being said, Janine gonna take care of us, you know, and it's all good. And I got Bessie working on something that you guys will soon be seeing, probably, if not today, sometime tomorrow, because it's some hot work. So, I got that to show you. So, with all of that being said, now activating combat cast number six die e x the combat cast starts now everyone welcome to the combat cast number 72 something who knows anymore we've done a lot of these uh, very excited today we have three characters to show to you today uh, that you might have seen in a recent trailer. Before we get to that, let's talk to the team on the couch. Here we are. Say hello, everybody. Introduce yourselves if they, if your first time uh, viewers. Steve, senior QA analyst. Derek, guy that sits on the couch. All right. I am Tyler Lansdowne, uh, the one of the community managers here at Netherrealm Studios. And here's the deal, guys. Um, important news. Ooh. Matt Burke is on his way to PAX in my stead oh. because I have to move this weekend to a new apartment. Very excited about that. Your life, I think they but that. it's going to be really fun. I'm excited. Just excited, right? Uh, so we do have someone new behind the control station, the power station. We got Cole. Cole. <laughs> there he is. He's on the Burt cam. Awesome. Yeah, on the Burt, on the Burt cam. cam. Why didn't we change it to the Cole cam? He doesn't have Twitter. Scroll the K. That, oh, yeah. That's yeah, a good point. What the? Really dropped the ball there. Uh, but he's on... It's all good. Uh, so he's here today, very exciting. So anything that goes wrong is not his fault. It is his fault. No, it's no. Burke's fault for not being here. But then it makes it your fault for not being able to go where Burke's at. That's a good point. You're busy. So who do you want it to be, your fault or Cole's fault? No, he's busy. He has a community to manage. I'm going to say I'll take, I'll take the blame. You should. Uh, so we have three characters to show today. I hope you guys all enjoyed the, uh, the old school trailer this week. It's a I think great trailer. One of, our, one of my favorite trailers that we've actually put out. I really enjoyed every moment yeah. of it. From the opening nut punch until the final uh, kick. The final space in that is just so. Oh, it's so good. It's the awesome. opening nut punch is one of the goofy things we do, where it's like I can't believe we did that. Yeah. Like I yeah. can't believe the writers came up with that. Yeah. I can't believe that got filmed. The score, everything about it is just so good. Everything worked together perfectly. Uh, super excited about that. Uh, the beta, the pre-order beta is here. It's here. People are playing right now. I've seen a lot of uh, Cabal play today. I've seen a lot of people working on Jay. I've seen a lot of people just taking a lot of time customizing their characters. Yes. Um, so that's great. Another thing to add, um, after the stream today, we are going to be uh, hosting some streams of people playing the beta. We got uh, a Boogie's going to be on. We all know him. Yep, Boogie. And Unruly, our friend okay. Kenny from the, from the Yo! Video Games crew will be today. Uh, throughout the weekend, we're going to be hosting various streamers playing the game. Hopefully, this is not set in stone, on Friday, some of us will be up here doing the same thing and starting the day off playing on stream, playing the beta against people, and we'll toss it off to another group of people playing. Cool. So, Sounds awesome. Trying to get Dan Wyland to play, our one of the uh, cinematics guys, because he's like a Scorpion player. Right I looked for him at his death day, but he's in a meeting. So, Dan, if you're watching, I'd love to have you on Friday. Why are you watching in the meeting? Oh, the meeting's over by now. Oh, okay. I didn't see it. Okay. We should get right to business, though. We, we have, have a lot to do. We have yeah. three characters to show today. Let's just show a picture of the first one. Ooh, there we go. Okay. There we go. There he is. Everybody, that's Liu Kang. The champion. The champion. The chosen one? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's talk about it. And part-time revenant. Part-time revenant. Oh, he's a full-time revenant now. Right. Whoa, don't give anything away. I mean, the story trailer, he's hey. a revenant. All right, let's talk about that. Okay. How's he play? Uh, 
he is classic Liu Kang. Yep. I think um, his fight style, like his normal attacks, are pretty similar to what we did in MK9 and MK10. We didn't want to reinvent the wheel with him. Because yeah. I think Liu Kang is one of the characters where when you pick up Liu Kang, you kind of want to know what you're getting. Like, right. he's a great beginner character, a great character that's just... You just want to kick people in the head. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's his abilities that really set him apart. So let's go into it. Let's cool. do it. Liu Kang, here we go. The big new thing is his nunchucks are back. He actually had those in the 3D games, and I always thought it was really cool. And they were back. He uses them in some of his combos, his throws. Let's do the other one. It looks super cool. Yeah. Steve, we actually played today a little bit. I was playing against your Liu Kang, and... Uh, you're pretty good with him so far. Yeah, well, Liu Kang's actually one of my favorite characters in MK. Which surprised me, I didn't know that. He's, uh, I don't know if this is true for this, uh, for MK11, but he was, he's just generally simple to play with yes. a, lot of, a lot of payoff. And that's definitely true. So, Gosh. there are some things about him, though, uh, like we always talk about with our games. It's yes. like, there's some stuff that's on the upper level that, like, maybe you never have to even get to. There's some stances, there's some stuff like that. Um, right. So he doesn't always use his nunchucks. I wouldn't call him a weapons character. It more kind of complements it. He still has his martial arts moves, which still look super cool. Damn, what? Liu Kang's always had some of my favorite kicks in our games. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of that stomp. Shaolin stomp, damn. I'm excited to see more people as the game, as people get their hands on the game, using those hop maneuvers more often. Yeah. Because they, uh, they're some of my favorite things to do, and sometimes, like, when you are when you actually just fake a wake-up and do a short hop, and people are waiting for the wake-up, you can get the overhead sometimes right. and duck and duck well. So his base loadout for special moves is exactly what you'd expect it to be. It's classic, straight up, classic, classic Mortal Kombat 2. He has a really good fireball. You can amplify it, and it's super fast, good damage. Flying kick's back. It's... It's flying kick. Yeah, it's what you expect. The Amplify yeah. is what? sort of new. He does this cool flip. It's a great combo ender. It's a great check from full screen. Mm -hmm. It actually has a crushing blow on it with a pretty unique uh, requirement. So what you have to do is you have to hit an air fireball from full screen at max distance. Oh, oh that's awesome. <laughs> you convert it like that, what? you get the crushing blow. I'm going to get that every time. That actually, as a Liu Kang player, something will probably happen quite yeah, a bit. It is, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it sounds like... You have to do this, this, and this, but it's something that you naturally do since like MK3. Air fireballs with Liu Kang, it's a what right. you do, right? Like, Bike kicks back, and it's actually been changed up a little. The meter burn one, he does multiple. And then this is what really makes me happy. This is, we're about to just do my favorite thing about Liu Kang. He can double it and just do it for 100 meters. Yeah, it's the corner, it's awesome. Yeah, it, yeah. It and then once you're in the corner, you're in Liu Kang's territory. Right, yeah, I definitely think Liu Kang excels there. Um, now there is a... Uh, there's a crush and blow with the, with the bicycle. Yes. yes. This one is actually after three meter burns. Three? Yeah, you have to meter burn it three times. Not in a row. Okay. Have to do it three times. In a, in a match. Yeah, in a match. I gotta get my stamina back. Look at this. Show us some swaggy combos, by the way. You got swaggy combos? Yeah, there's no meter. Yeah. yeah. All right, so then the third time. Wait, I didn't meter burn. So now I have it loaded. I've done three. Now, the next time I do regular, it'll go into the crushing blow. That's so it's true. interesting that it's actually the regular one that does it, but you have to do the amplified one three times before you right. can get it. Oh, well, because you have no meter anymore. Right, right. Yeah. exactly. So, so let's go over the loadout I made here. Now, just for everyone knows, uh, there'll be two loadouts per character today. Yes. Because we're doing three characters right. and we want to... you got to cruise through We, we don't want to keep everybody on watching us all day because there's also beta to play. Right. So, so right. the first move I gave him is his Shallon Parry. It behaves as you'd expect from a parry. It'll beat mids and highs. He'll knock you away. The cool thing is you can actually amplify it, and he gets a pop-up. Oh, damn! Oh, you haven't gone to the bicycle kick, man. Mm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn! Oh, now, damn The damn reason it. I wanted to show this is it also has a the really cool fell. crushing blow requirement. It's if you parry a wake-up attack. Oh, oh, that is cool. just a one-inch punch. Yep, so that's yep. awesome. Yeah. And one thing that's neat, a lot of damage, too. and it's kind of rare with crushing blows, is it's before the amplified, and you can actually still amplify. It. Oh no, you! Damn! So what the? Oh my God! God the damage. damage! You told me not to say hemma damage, so I won't. Yeah, because no one knows what hemma. But if can we I say hella, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, yeah I describe that as Shaolin hella damage. Hella damage. And you are, you know, you're using your 
So your crushing blow is open. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And remember, you can only use the crushing blow once per game. Mm -hmm. So even if you read that they're going to the wake up attack and you're going to win anyway, you actually don't want to use it. Yeah. The second thing I gave him this loadout is his fire buff. You turn this on and it increases the damage for all of his attacks and it sets up a second ability that I equip, which is his teleport. This is a brand new move. Ooh, He'll work behind that. And this actually has different versions. For example, he can drop down if you hold up into an overhead. It's a what? super quick uh, overhead. Oh, okay. Or actually sweep you. So it becomes a 50-50 mix-up off of the teleport. But he has those fire on. Exactly. Only when he has the fire on. So for the custom variation system, this is actually pretty in-depth because you have to have the buff on and then the teleports on. So that's taking up to your slots for a very, very powerful. I was say, I mean, it seems to be pretty damn weird. Yeah. For, for a 50 50 mix up like that, which obviously doesn't lead to full combos, right. but as a player who's playing against Liu Kang, he has the fire on. Now's the only time I need to worry. Right. What's he going to do? He's going to just yep. instantly mix it. So if the fire buff's on, I'm not too scared about it. Yeah, it's cool. I love pretty. connecting uh, like air fireballs to Like, it's yeah. just the most fun thing. So there's a pop up off of there's a back two? That's back two. All right, one more loadout. One more loadout. Let's see, see. Let's go over his human variation. This is my okay. yeah. The classic, like MK2, the hero of the Earth Realm, mm -hmm. the goody goody guy. That's that's Liu Kang I play, and I think he looks super cool. I like his pants a lot. Can we take Kang, his Kang. background? Ooh. It looks awesome. Yeah, yeah. Shaolin Trap Dungeon is so cool. So real quick, also, uh, we will be getting to a fatality for each character. Yes. We're going to do it in a quick little uh, versus match, make yes. it easier. And we will show you, of course, the uh, crush, the uh, fatal blows. So this loadout, I wanted to be based on his nunchucks, and I gave him a couple of nunchuck moves. The first one is actually, I don't think Blue King's ever had one before, a command grab. Mm. It's like a full-on, it's not like a, an attack throw, it's an actual command grab. And it has a really cool amplify where he gets additional damage. And then he has a stance. You go into it, and now you have a few options. One is an overhead. What the? Oh my combo. god! Four okay, is actually good. a low that goes into an really, really good. And then the coolest is he gets a projectile absorb. Give me that. Give me that. Now, here's the cool thing about that. Tell us. You've done how many? There's three different attacks out of it and a projectile yes. absorb. Now, similar to Jackie Briggs, who has a uh, her her clinch set up. Once you've done all of those attacks, you've loaded up a crushing blow. Wow, it's like you guys practiced that. Yeah. That was really good. So when you're fighting Liu Kang in the stance, you have to keep track of which moves he's done. And that means he also has to successfully absorb the projectile. Mm -hmm. So you could literally, if he's done the first two attacks, stop doing your projectile so you have a chance, or bait out the Liu Kang going into the stance and do like a double projectile. Or, there's a whole bunch of mind games. And he'll have it loaded, and the next time he does stance one, He's gonna get that pop up into a combo. Cool. What happens if he plays this character without projectile? Then he can't get then it. Then he just can't do it. Yep. Uh, what do we got left? That's Lieutenant. All right. Fatal blow. Fatal blow. Let's do it. I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. Yeah. Ooh. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Now, a lot of people on Twitter thought that was his big talent. Oh, little do you know. They didn't realize the, the, the sort of the, 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 the background and the lighting, how that all I'm done. Um, so, no, that is actually... Just a fatal blow. So, I would say the overarching thing on Liu Kang here is it's Liu Kang. Yeah. We, we did not... Classic Kang. We really didn't want to redesign him. I, I think that's what Liu Kang players like, just the pressure, the zone in. Oh, I don't know if we, say, we didn't want to redesign him, right? We just want to keep him true to the character and, but, add, but, and enhance him, add, add these new moves and yes. abilities to him. And there are. That's the abilities is where it comes. I think right. the custom variation system is where he's going to be different. Right. So your ba everyone's base Liu Kang is going to be kind of the standard Liu Kang that we've played. Mm -hmm. Very easy to pick up and play. And, and the abilities are like the stance. There's another stance that we're not showing. There's sure. There's a bunch of for you guys to explore yes. when it comes up here. Let's actually set up real quick uh, to play to get him through a we'll show a fatality. Derek, Derek we'll Derek. talk real quick though. Yeah, you were a fan in, in MKX of playing Liu Kang. Yes. Do you see yourself going back Absolutely. Absolutely. I was thinking Absolutely. about looking at it. Um, I just love the back two pop-up, right? Mm -hmm. Like I will use that all day into a swaggy combo, into fireball, drop my combo, try it again, and drop it again. I will say this. 
the times that you got it, it was, it was, good. It was good. really good. It felt good. But now that I can just amplify that bicycle kick twice, I'm all in. Wow, <laughs> straight roasted. So now Steve's gonna play against the computer and just do cool uh, Liu Kang stuff to, until he gets to the end. Let's see if it works. Oh. Okay. Um, one thing that Ed had touched on at Comic Con is just a variation of uh, building your variation systems. You can actually kind of build classic versions of the characters, a classic Scorpion, classic. Uh, Okay. So yes, it's, it's really cool to see what we can classic shade, right? You may have noticed I did not do low fireball. That is not base loadout. But if you want that, that is an ability that you can choose to use. Right. I, I personally use that when I play him. Oh yeah. Yes, you do. The more projectiles, the better. Yeah. I, I usually use nunchuck stance and low fireball. Did you put it on like medium? Yeah, I'm trying to do stuff. Well, you're not doing much stuff. I'm doing stuff. You just got teched by the computer. All right. All right, here you go. Oh. All right, don't mess this up. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, great. Yeah. Oh, gee, yo, Casey, bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Really powerful. The power of the human spirit. I, I, I love all the kind of the, the, the plays on the one in front. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. Um, so that, I mean, we're you know, going to give you a quick look at these characters. That is uh, basically how Luke Kang works. Obviously, a ton of other moves we can add to the character and things like that. But um, we do, of course. I feel like people are like, let's see Kung Lao. Uh, do they want to say that? I, I do, are they saying that right that's now? That's what they, I, I, Let's show him a picture then. There he is. Wow, it's a good thing we had that ready and come out ready. Because everyone, apparently, that's what everyone wants. Everybody, that's what everybody's and saying. Derek's right not even looking at chat, he just knows. Yeah, he just knew. Right. Let's talk about it. I have great ears. Yes, you do. Yeah, thank you. Uh, let's talk about it. I would say, similar to Liu Kang with Kung Lao, some characters, the next one we're going to show, we did. Well, really just, really just stick on the. I'm just saying. Stay on subject. Let's go. Similar to Liu Kang. Mm -hmm. His base loadout, we didn't want to reinvent the wheel. It's the abilities where we did, so let's just go through it. I think we should start with his throws, because Kung Lao... Uh, always has the best things. Yeah, always. Kung Lao's throws are great in this game. Um, oh, oh, oh. Oh, do it again, sorry. Duff! What? I like... 14. <laughs> <laughs> just put <laughs> so so a steal in his head! That looks, looks fun to do. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Kung Lao's normal attacks are, you know, exactly one. A lot of chain punches. Yeah, uh, classic rapid. Kung Fu. Yep. Very, very quick. He has a slow attack that advances forward. Multi-hitting attacks. Uh, Multi-hitting screens. His jump uh, is really cool. Very, uh, his, his, like, forward jump without, without attacking. Oh, yeah, yeah. That movement's awesome. Super acrobatic. Yeah, it's really good. He uses his hat and his uppercut, his sweep. Like, the sweeps look so good. The way he catches it, it's so good. The way it goes around his body. Like yeah. He, he, it seems almost like he controls the hat more in this game than he has before. Before, it was more of him just throwing it and things like that, but now it seems like he controls it. Yeah, he definitely uses it more in a martial arts way. There's a confidence about the way he uses it in this game, I think. Because truthfully, you have to be confident if you're catching a hat with a blade. You know what? Right. I'm going to say this out loud. I want Sony from Into the Badlands and the right, Death Curse. So special attack mode is, out is it's dirt. pretty much classic Kung Lao. He's got his hat toss, and he has his ability list is full of different kind of hat tosses you can do. His dive kick's back. His dive kick meter burn is super cool. Damn! Oh. Kung Lao without a dive kick is not Kung Lao. Yeah. yeah. Now, the requirement for this one is interesting. It's actually hit two dive kicks in a row. So if you hit a dive kick, and let's say the opponent's going to do wake up attack and you bait it out, jump that, you'll get the crushing blow, which is just nasty. And when you have a dive kick, to do it two times in a row is pretty natural. I mean, I mean Kung, Lao players, Kung Lao players like to talk about how they're these fundamentalists that are methodical play styles, but they're actually absolute maniacs. Right. They just travel cross screen to right. dive kicks. Spin is back. He has an amplified spin that actually goes forward and he gets a bigger combo. He can actually do multiple spins and combos. Ooh. 
His Damn! I got to give you a huge prop. What? You were trying to show me that one yesterday at your desk, and it was not working out well. I'm glad that I had forgotten that and there was no pressure because I forgot to panic about doing that, so I was able to do it. So I'm yeah, grateful that you didn't sick. cut this promo about, oh, do you think you're going to drop Oh, I, wasn't, I don't do that. Okay. I wasn't going to do that. But you were dropping. There you go. His teleport's back. It does have a new animation, though. The throwing the hat down is, couldn't be cooler. From teleport, he has a brand new move. Ooh. Oh. It's advancing overhead. That's awesome. That crushing blow requirement is you have to do it after you hit the throw. So the idea here is the throw, obviously you want to duck it, and then he has an overhead, which if you are ducking to not get hit by the throw, or you then get hit by the overhead. So you do the sequence, while they're on the ground, you go for it again. Oh, I must have already done it. Yeah, I must have already done it. All right, there we go. So that's his base loadout. Let's go over his abilities. They, this is where he gets super. Oh, real quick, can't you? You can meter burn teleport too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. You can actually meter burn the teleport to hide in the ground. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Go! It's cool because you can actually see what the hat's doing. Yeah. Get stuck in the ground like that. That's super cool. All right, so his abilities are extremely neat. So it started off with this orbiting hat. Yeah. With the hat, unlike orbiting him, which he does have as an option, the hat will orbit the opponent. Now, if the opponent gets knocked into it... But it's stuck in that area. It's yeah. Oh. So you can see there, I actually did my low attack, the opponent got knocked into it. Which means if the opponent's looking out for that and they're blocking low, you can go in for a throw, go in for a jump in, whatever. Now, this move is extremely powerful, but you'll notice this is one of the rare moves that actually takes stamina just for using it. I'm not amplifying it. Using the move. So you're going to actually, using your resources, which does recharge, to do this orbiting hat. But there, it's are, a, there are some other moves, too, that I don't know if you've completely outlined that. Yes. Just performing them does take your offensive and defensive standing. It's pretty rare, but you're right. Gearus has one. A lot of cancels do that. So this is one of them. The second move I gave him is, um, what? oh, I remember, Buzzsaw Hat. Oh, the class. So it's so kind of like a kind of an MK3 style, but the cool thing is he can now hold it, and I'm actually moving yeah. it around. I'm <laughs> moving the stick around, completely controlling it, and he can amplify it to then stay in place while he's able to move around. That just sounds nasty. It's Damn. pretty awesome with his setups. You put the saw on yourself. That's crazy. How about one more loadout? All right, I'm pretty hyped. This is yeah, yeah. Kung Lao's oh, ability. Awesome. Very, it's, again, I, I hate to repeat myself, a lot like Liu Kang. It's like your base slowdown is your kind of checkmark boilerplate Kung Lao, and then the abilities is where you can go nuts. Right. I'm also a huge fan of this MK3 style aesthetic for Kung Lao. Yeah. So the first one I gave him is Z Hat. He'll actually. He paints the Z hands. Yeah. The amplified one looks super cool. It's like, this is coming at you like this. Yeah. This does really good ship damage, it's super hard to avoid. So the downside is you can see the extremely slow startup. Right. So, one of the cool things is you can actually cancel out of it. Sure. Now, while it does take stamina, you're faking the opponent out. Right. That's all. So, there, again, there's another example. Canceling out of the Z hat will take some of your offensive uh, yep. or defensive. It's, uh, it's taking defensive for cancels. And this, I'm. 100% all in. He has a stance where he summons the spirit of the great Kung Lao. And for, um, so I am a huge fan for the great Kung Lao. This guy, Steve's lore minute, folks. This guy, without a knowledge of te uh, guns, rocket launchers, fireballs, pure Shaolin martial arts defeated Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat and saved the Earth realm. There is a reason he is called the great Kung Lao. No one's calling you the great Tyler. No. no, no one is coming. No. Never. No. I have always wanted to see him in the game, and I'm super happy that he is so tight. His spirit is in combat. Because he's just that badass. He's that great. So right. Kung Lao gets three new moves from it. All right, let's go through it. Steve Gorman. He gets his projectile. Ooh. If he does it three times, it gets a crushing blow. He gets an anti-air, and then this is really cool, this low stomp. Duff! And he can cancel it. So he's taking the power from the great Kung Lao. Yes. 
and and you and strengthening him, his own resolve, his own resolve. And power. Yeah. Would that be grandpappy love? I don't, I don't think, think it's his grandfather. I think it's way farther back. Then. Great, 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 great grandpappy love. That would be a question for Dom. But right. We need to get to the bottom. Definitely tweet him and ask him which grandfather he right, is. Right, right. He definitely how, wants how to see. How far a separation yeah. is this? Yeah, definitely tweet him. Yeah, we need to know. Um, yeah. Or that's, somebody else can tweet him that because we're doing stream. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I, everyone I, in the chat should tweet him that yeah. right now. Oh my. What level of loud are yeah. they separated? I need to know. I need to know. Yeah. And so, questions let's go over his fatal blow. Okay. I really like the startup because he's reminiscent of MKX. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, that would hurt. That yeah, would hurt. that. I really like the fatal blows. We just own the fact that they're essentially fatal. Yeah, right. right but right. because it's Mortal Kombat, Kano's fine. Yeah, no, he'll be fine. He's just gonna get right back up. All right, All right so, so we should do a match with him. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, let's me and Derek will talk a little bit. Uh, you yeah. and I don't uh, have a lot of. We Friends. haven't played a lot. Oh, yikes. We didn't play a lot of Kung Lao matches. No, 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 no. So maybe, maybe in the future. If you're going to do Liu Kang, I should learn to come loud and do some of those actors. Yeah, a little well. Shaolin Throwdown? I think it'd be a lot of fun. I'm totally in. I'd like to see it. Shaolin Throwdown. So we're going to get to Shaolin. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do some swaggy combos. Maybe. That's will that. talk during the intro. There, there's been some roastings today in the, in the opening. <laughs> I absolutely love Kung Lao's face. And his face yes. yes. Like, I have to say, e even in the uh, the trailer that we just did, like, it just looks so good. My, uh, his expressions are so He good. has two great ones. When Geras comes back, and that one with Scorpion. It's, it was, in, it's, in, the it's right. in the trailer. Hey. When he says, our future is insane. Right. Like, that, that's, my favorite, that's probably my favorite line of the whole thing. No yeah, and I, I like the smirk when he, uh, and when he cuts off there. Like, that was the game, the smirk that he made. Yeah, that's like, what I'm talking about. Oh, it's great. So and I love when Scorpion shoots the spear at the door and it misses him, and they're both like, whoa. I, I just, you know, I, you know, we big props to the, the, the animation team, the, the patients mm -hmm. of the game. Yeah. I mean, and people on, the, on Twitter are talking about it too, which is really cool for us to, like, see the team get those kind of props because it does look so good. Yep. All right, here we got <laughs> the way he teleports down will never get old enough. <laughs> he looks so obnoxiously cocky. Yeah. I mean, oh, that's, yeah. that's kind of wild. That's yeah. super good. Um, One more character? Wow, we are cruising through this. We, we, yeah. we, 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 our goal today was we want to show three characters. We don't want to like go too fast, but we also don't want to you know, keep you away from the beta. Give them yeah. give no, you're stuff. Right. You're right. You're and then next week... We'll have some characters again. We will. So maybe at the end of the stream, I'll give you a hint that it's a one. Just one. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm hyped for that. Are we, uh, are we doing just one? Oh, no, this is too many questions. No, no, we're not. Too many questions, though. Too many questions. Uh, let's show the picture of our next character, Ooh. final of the day. There he is. Major Jackson Briggs. Jackson Briggs. Known major. Known major. Uh, I am obviously like I'm like like I like wrestling style characters oh, and. Yeah. I'll, I'll be totally honest. Um, MKX, I played him a little bit, but his you B sucked at it. Yeah, his you sucked at it. absolutely. Yeah. His B and B was too hard for me. Mm -hmm. um, it had a run cancel in. I couldn't do. I think I did it twice in my life in practice mode and never anywhere else. Uh, everyone else was like, "That's not that hard." Right. Yeah. I when I heard Jackson's going to be in the game, Jax is not exactly my style of character, gameplay or aesthetic. Sure. He's not exactly like a princess or a female ninja or something <laughs> right. like that. Right, yeah. When I saw the work, our design, animation, all that did, this is definitely the coolest Jax has ever been. God, that me, myself, and I lying in the trailer. Like, he, he, he's, the coo he's definitely the coolest he's ever looked to me. Yeah. Uh, this, let's, let's, uh, let's just take a look yeah, at let's this. Go. Let's start with his throws. I, uh, here's what I like about his throws. He has one brutal, th one brutal throw and one just disrespectful throw. The like, way the opponent ragdolls after that part is so yeah. like. Look at their arms; how they are out. <laughs> <laughs> I love the go to sleep too. Yeah. All right, so Jax. Can you put him to sleep one more time? 
Yeah. Dra Jax is actually <laughs> drastically different from the last games. But there's still flavor there. Like, he's not going to feel unfamiliar. Right. Um, so, you can see some of his normal attacks. Very reminiscent of MK9. One of his core fussy tools is actually a low. It goes into this cool throw. <laughs> so you'll notice something here. Yes, I'm going to get to that very soon. The dash punch is actually not a special move anymore, but he kind of does a Superman punch in some of his animations you can see there. We also he has, he has back four too. Yes, it's similar. Which is I, kind of I think the the reimagining yeah. of his dash punch. I love the head bop. One more normal I'd like to show is his back two. Bop bop. He can actually fully charge it, and it's a crushing blow. That's great. Ooh. So that's a super fun crushing blow uh, one. You have to fully do it. Fully charge. All right, so now let's go over his heated arms, which is the mechanic you alluded to. Every time Jax lands a punch, you can see his arms get more and more hot. And there's different levels to this. You can see how, this is the, the max level. This increases the damage of all those punch attacks as he goes forward. However, it has a cooldown. The long, when you'll wait, it'll actually run off, and as he does moves, it'll run off. From this, it does three things. It adds crushing blows. There are some moves, like you can see here, he has this string. God, this is that, yeah, this, this is a, these are the moves the character. Yes. Yeah. But when it's at max, it becomes a crushing blow, as well as his throw. So the more punches he does, and he has a ton of punching at style. Lucky for you, Jack's mainly only punches. Yes. <laughs> uh, you know that's primed, and then if he goes for those moves, so like if you know, just a, a good mix-up would be, like let's say he gets you in a restand situation, throw versus strike, and if he has glowing arms, it's going to do a crushing blow. Mm -hmm. And the details of the glowing arms, like there's smoke coming out. Oh, they look right? so like, cool. So well done. Super heated. There's also, I don't know if you have these, Set up and under the loadout. There's actually a move you can equip that will will do it for you. There you go. Yes. He also has his classic ground pound. I forgot about that. Oh, we haven't gotten to a special move yet. Yeah. So anyway, the second thing heated arms does is everything does more damage. The last thing it does is it gains access to the MK3 style missiles. He's got the double oh, whoa, man. and the regular. So normally he doesn't have any zoning capabilities at all. He does have a slow fireball that'll show, but he doesn't have a traditional fireball. But with heated arms, you can expend that energy to get a really good, fast recovering projectile. And I, we've been using the energy wave lately, so I love that we brought the MK3 rockets back. Yeah, no, it's awesome. So let's go over his special moves. We already showed classic ground pound is back. He can actually do this buff. He can amplify it to get heated arms. I'm mad. This is his new dash punch. It's a mid. Good advancing move. Here's where things get super cool. Gotcha's back, and these options from it, I love. He has a bunch of them. This one's great. He'll get Just heated welcome to the it. corner! He can actually switch sides, then continue it. And then a cool thing is, you see normally, he kind of tosses you aside. Near a corner, he gets a restand. So if he's near the corner, he can do that, throw you in the corner. Or over here, Switch sides, continue it, then throw you in the corner, and then he can get his pressure. So you can see, a simple scenario would be, if he doesn't have heated arms at all, just a couple of jabs, they start to heat up, then he can get them in the corner, do a bunch of jabs to get, get them really hot, then go for this, and then he's going to have these mix up with the crushing blows with the heated arms. So he is absolutely deadly with slight heat and in the corner. Really, really good stuff. Uh, then he has his grenade launcher. This is one of his gear items. He has an upwards one and a straight one. His thumper. Yeah, he can amplify it, and he can mix it. He can do a straight one, or a high one, then a straight one. It's whatever. It's the same move that you hold up to do it. Up. They reload is so let's go over his loadout. Sure. This one I made grappling based. I Yay. gave him the quad slam. That's the regular one. Okay, what did this car from the King of Fighter shit? Okay. But it's awesome. But it's awesome. Running through! I, I love the belly to back at the end. The second thing I gave him is the Burning Hammer, which is a new air grab. And he has two ways to do it. You can do it as a traditional down throw. Mm. Damn, what the f- Oh! Or you can actually do it where he will jump up. It's back forward four and he's actually jumping up. You can do that in juggles. Dang! 
Damn! Yeah, I'm just, that's the, I'm obviously I'm just super into this character. Yeah. It's, it's, so, so, one more loadout? Yeah! Man, this game gets better every time I look at it. See, this, yeah, this loadout has some stuff I like too. Oh. Classic Jax. Classic Jax. First thing I gave him is the string. Are you, gonna, are you doing it? There we go. It's 2-2-1-1-2-2. Two, two, one, one, two, two. I'm not seeing this. Yeah, Jim. why is it not working? There we go. Yeah, you don't have to tap it out that hard. You can actually just run this one. All right. There we go. Yeah. yeah. The point of that is it's a million punches, so he's going to get heater arms super, super, super fast. Second thing I gave him is this overhead slam. This is a special move that's a true overhead, and it actually launches on hit, or on amplified. So if you can dash in, go for gotcha. Mm. And then finally, the real showcase of this variation that I made is the duck and weave stance. So he goes into the stance, goes low, and then from here he has this mid. So like holding down there for Yes, yeah. you can hold it down. And then from here, he has a couple options. And any time I can let go and do the mid, I can amplify, and he does a pop-up. I can do four, and he'll do the overhead because I have that move equipped. And then I lastly, didn't know that. yeah, yeah, it's a special bonus. So that's another example, like the Liu Kang one, where abilities can actually stack build off each other. Yeah. Yep. And then lastly, he has a low grab, and this is a true low, and he'll throw them the other way. So he has a 50-50 mix-up, a pop-up, he can avoid highs. It's a very versatile Can you thing. amplify the four through this? You know, no. Oh, yeah. You mean like this part? Yeah. Yes. Oh. And go to sleep. So let's check out his fatal blow. Mm. Oh, oh, what? Oh, man! Clap him! And then dump on his fool! Oh my so god! Well, it ends up heated up. Yes. It's yes. kind of like, it's very similar to where Baraka plays his flag at the end of his. The flag stays there. Yes. That's more damage. He gets heat up arms during his mm -hmm. fatal blow. That's awesome. So then, like, you got to say, but you didn't kill him. You have now projectiles to maybe finish the job. Right, right. Or increase damage or what. Yep. Yeah, um, also, his facial expression, I'm going to do it again because people okay. need to screen cap this. Look at his face right before he shoots you with a rocket. It is tremendous, especially old Jax. That's good. <laughs> Damn. Like a cocked eyebrow a it's, it's great. That's really good. All right, so play a match with him? Yeah, let's do that. Let's talk real quick, Derek. Yep. You and me. Let's do it. Jax is a character I'm looking into. You will not stick with them at all. You know, well, I don't stick with a lot of characters. I like, yeah, playing, no, true. You do not. I like playing a lot of characters. Yep, yeah. and you do. And it's fun for me that way. Uh, uh, I, think I, think I think you'd like Jax a lot. Yeah, when I was watching uh, some of the stuff that Pani was doing with him, like, I instantly was like, this is a Tyler character. It's the burning hammer yeah. that did it for me. <laughs> like that. I mean, air throw, like, I don't hit air throws all the time, but the fact that you can do it. The, the fact that you can do it off of strings and not mm -hmm. just jumping in the air makes it like, oh yeah, gives it more use. So I'll do the jumping one maybe once every three matches, but the other one you'll do every match. Well, I mean, he has like good pop ups too. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's not hard for you to explain that. My mm. biggest thing with him right now is fake figuring out what I want to do. Yeah. Because he has so many moves that I really enjoy. I love the gotcha grab, walking him towards the corner and just mm. punching him. It's so good. Well, he has one um, move set you can put on that like gives your move extra qualities that go like two player animation, uh -huh. which is of course what I love to do. That's when you punch him, like don't even just get right there. Nice job, Steve. He's doing it the same exact time that I say it. You guys are really in sync. Something happened. Team Tyler's bye, bye, bye. Which version? Of those? Oh, this is easy. Nope. Oh. Man, oh, I cannot wait to play this game. I'm like, oh. 
He's got a lot of bop moves. Yeah, yeah. He, I, I think Jax should have a lot of bop moves. on the bop. Ooh. Oh my god. I've got the spins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, see you, Steve. Yeah. Yes! I love that it comes back to him. Mm -hmm. He knew what he was doing. Oh, man. He knew he was awesome. Doing. awesome. Three, Three characters, characters right there. Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. Super excited. Hope you guys all enjoyed those characters. How um, could you not? Yeah, I, I, I was reading a lot today on Twitter. People were guessing who they were have or whatever. Um, it's kind of somebody for everyone in that group. Oh, yeah. Um, before we move on, Derek, do you have a birthday shout-out? Of course I oh, have a birthday shout-out. Oh, that's shout part of the show. Yes, thank you very much. Birthday shout-outs, folks. We got MKF30. Okay. Salty Prime. Chad Henry. Chris3909710808. Mm. Keep that on your mind. Uh, Digital Omega. Dave Bolden. Mm. My mom. Happy birthday, mom. And... The best man in this building. The Iron Man himself, Mr. Sean Henry. Right. Happy birthday, Sean. We'll have him on the future stream. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Uh, what else do I have to say about something? Oh, we, uh, we do have a belt battle to take care of. Oh, boy. And I'm uh, great. He's been extremely incontinent. I don't want to put him on the spot, but he's been. Well, I don't doubt that. I mean,. To be fair, Isla gets more time to play this game. And he has nothing to say about that. Well, I mean, he I, knows it's true. I've I never been to a tournament true. where you can lose and say, excuse me, referee, excuse me, bracket runner. I don't have time to practice. You're right. That's on me. That's my fault. So you know what I'm going to do? And I'm going to go home and I'm going to play the beta, as you all should yes. be doing. I, Not, uh, no, have the beta on while you're watching this. Oh, they'll probably have us on while they're playing the beta. Maybe. Yeah. I don't. I I understand, Derek, that like you don't have as much time to play as I do. But like Steve said, like I shouldn't bring that. That should not be my excuse. I mean, you're right. That's just how. Oh, things... you're gonna bring Sonya? Oh, bother! I think so. Okay, let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's play. Oh, we want to pick a new background. I want to do. Let's do. Uh... We got that one. Okay. Let's do it. Tyler, best of luck to you. I wish you luck too. Thank you. I think, Derek, for you, the key strategy is start off aggressive and spook him. Because he thinks he's going to be free. <coughs> Alright, did start off aggressive. Shadow fit. Sometimes you have to do that. Healthy risk. Mm. Yeah, Derek's just going all in. All right. Oh, he's going to do this four times. Oh, wow. Apaka. Already using that uppercut crushing blow. Oh, no. Right back. Okay, yeah. okay. Come up and spell to the K. Oh, that was too early. Now, Fatal Blow does have a nine second cooldown. It's, it's pretty significant. The fighting him turns up like nine years. Just ducking, patient. Not a lot of life here, though. Oh, Jade puts Glow on. It's exactly it. Jade is it's pretty hard to zone him. Let's go. Hootie hoo! I like that Derek started off aggressive, got the life lead, and then actually started playing patient. Strange strategic decision from Derek. The, cor the correct strategic decision. Strategic decision, but strange. Glows up. Almost hit a combo. Almost. Tyler is in a lot of trouble here. Oh, well, let's see you if you go. go. Yeah, you went for the restand. Shoot. Mm. Goes for that knee. Definitely one of Sonya's best mids. Dang it. It's one of her fastest. Mids is not her greatest strength, so it's a really good move. Her back one is her best move, but that's a high. So she kind of she can't use the back one until she establishes the forward four. It's kind of an interesting metagame and neutral for her. Fatal Blow and play for both, and it would win. Let's see if Tyler can get through the zoning now. Very good patience from both. I, I like what I'm seeing here. No one's freaking out. 
Oh. Oh, very close. Nope. Could sure. not survive it. Woo! Bing! Nice job. A lot of zoning. I think Tyler's doing a good job dealing with it, but he's not actually advancing forward. Yeah. But, but you're doing a good job not dying. So that's half the battle. Well, I did die. Yeah, but it took you a while to die. You didn't just panic like that chicken. Yeah, I know. Off. I would like a liquid refreshment, please. I'd like to take a moment. That's serious. <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Right, I'm ready. You're ready. How do I look, Steve? Yeah. You look prepared. Yeah. You look confident. Let's see if Tyler's shaken up, because I warned him if things go bad. You don't want to get too cocky if things go bad. And he told me, I don't do that anymore. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. He says he feels fine. Maybe he is fine. Tyler's backing up. I like they're using the uppercut just to create space. Their uppercuts are really good in this game. There's a lot of talk on Twitter of people freaking out, but it's like, it's Mortal Kombat. Uppercuts should be good. Like in MK2, when I was like 12, I wasn't like worried about uppercuts being too good. It's tight. Pretty much an even match right here. Goes, goes for the leg grab. Oh, no punish though. Big combo. Damn, what? Damn, oh, the combo. knees! Right, yeah. Damn! Damn. That's going to be a that move, that anti air move, did not launch like that at the reveal of one. So that's oh. actually a little preview. Well done. Well Thank done. You. Oh, I, I like the fake out with the jump. Did not actually do the air wave like you thought. Tyler just advancing forward slowly. Chinook's bone side. I don't know if, even if I was a revenant, if I would want to live in a bone temple. Like, it seems really filthy. Like, even my apartment's never been this bad. Oh, oh. Probably should have full color. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, though. It's still a punish. And you should have reversed direction to keep her in the corner. Especially because the interactable's not there anymore. So there were like 10 mistakes there, but that's fine. Oh, good air to air. Leg grab. Uh, oh. Both, are, both fatal blows are in play. Oh, and that's gonna, be, that's gonna be the round. I got too jumpy there at the end. I'm, 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 yeah, that. No, oh, there it is. We always forget that last a little, little pop bit, that happened. A little bit. So Derek's actually on set point here. Tyler is playing pretty good though. It's just a matter of getting in one or two times, taking his time. Nope, no jumping. Good flawless block. Oh, good combo. Converts. <clears throat> oh, oh! Breakaway. Oh, wow. I was about to say Derek was going to have no defensive stamina, but he got that uppercut off. That was that was actually critical. Onion rings. Oh. This fatal blow could win the whole set here. Tyler can hit it. He's getting desperate. Big uppercut. Oh. No, oh, got her. That, that might be it. Mm. Oh, if that's not it, it's gonna be super. I think that's it. I think we're going to a third game. Maybe not. No. Yeah, stop. we're done. Stop. 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 We just talked about that. that yeah. This is a really good set. Ugh. I thought for. All right, I'm gonna give you props. I thought for sure you were gonna freak out about those air glaze, wet your pants, and die of a heart attack live on stream, and you actually. Held it together I'm back in. and got, managed to win. Yeah, that might have been the most patient you have ever been I, in I'll your say entire life. I'll say I was super scared about the air glaives there because I was like, yeah. I was going to lose. You, I'm flabbergasted. He's playing well. He's, he's, he's keeping me out like he wants to. I just need to stay patient. He's playing patient. Remember an hour ago in this fair like that I don't give you enough props? I'm giving you props. You complain that you don't get enough props? Oh, absolutely. He was going eight, but I don't give enough props. Wow. It was the other way around, to be honest. <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> no, you don't. So let's see. Big combo here. 
Mm. Break away. Same thing That's we saw the same last, thing game. last time. I understand Tyler wants to be aggressive after the breakaway. Like, the big thing to keep in mind about breakaway is the opponent has no stamina, but you don't want to get too aggressive and run into those uppercuts. One thing about breakaway is if you actually read it's coming, it's better to cut your combo short and do like a big chunky thing. Like an uppercut would be good. Something that a single hit that does a lot of damage. Because even though they have armor and they flip out, they're still taking the damage. So you can like do an uppercut and then leave them standing and then go for some pressure. It's something I think as the game moves on, you're gonna have to get really good at. Is like reading when they're gonna do it. Do they want to use their stamina? Are, you know, are they in a situation where they're gonna die if they No, don't? I was blocking. This is Ugh. lies. The game doesn't lie. It's ones and zeros. Oh, doink. The numbers don't lie. And they spell disaster. Sister curb stomp. Thank you. <laughs> this is really good. Yeah, this is a great set. I'm very impressed in, in both your play. You guys are... Oh, I keep getting hit by the skin Oh! Oh! Mr. In, though! That's the conversion. That's okay. Don't get nervous now. Not in your moment of triumph. And Derek is just throwing the kitchen sink, zone it. Good block. He's trying to go in with Jade. It's working. Oh, onion rings. No more stamina, though. No more onion rings. Oh wow, good uppercut. 4-4. Four, four. Bone Scythe is in play. Oh, oh the Bone Scythe. Ooh. Should have amplified Come it. on now. Oh, Big God. crushing blow. Uh, good. Decent conversion, decent conversion. It's me that has it, not you. Yeah, I put the You gonna go for that fatal but blow. That is Oh, oh get it! You can't say nothing. I actually hit my. Uh, oh, I did. Yeah, that, that's heartbreaking because he would have been. Uh, like, we're going to the last round. This has got to be the best set you guys have ever played. Pretty good. All right, who's gonna freak out? Who's gonna drop their combos? Or are we just gonna see clean play? Are we gonna go down to the wire with clean, clean play? And keep in mind, Derek just used his fatal blow. Oh, wow, good throw counter. Yeah. Air glaives, making hay with those air glaives. Damn, I'm a big fan, big time. fan of zoning Jade. Nice, dude. That was good. No. Close to the throw. Tyler with a very slight lead, very slight. A couple of glaives and this lead will be up. Oh, oh, that's huge. Nice. You know the requirement Crushing for that. It's, if the first doesn't hit and the second does, that was a big, that was a game changer. That's why I like the charge one because the timing's still. Right. It's, it, those things are really fast and have really good recovery. Oh, Ooh. critical throw break. We might go, Derek does not have fatal blow though. If he did, I would say this is anyone's game. The lack of that fatal blow is huge. That is the number one thing about that mechanic. You gotta be careful about when you use it. Ooh. He is a couple of throws away though. And you don't want to lose a bunch of life trying to zone when she's got glow on when you just gotta close this out. There's not a lot of time either. There's no reason to get desperate. Oh! And the air glaive got me. Oh! You absolutely just stop doing anything. Oh. I just yeah, I got I got I didn't know what to go on. I got oh, I break. Awesome, that's three three now. That was a great set. Really good set. That took everything. That really took everything. Good one. Wow. That was fun. I think it looked really good, too. Yeah, I mean. Congratulations. If I can move this, birthday, can move this camera you. to you, I would. You know what? I appreciate that. So yeah. next week, we'll just put it over here? Is that like the new it's, thing? Just follow the bell. Wins, it it's tougher to get in the room that way. Um, great job, Derek. Great. That was fun. That was a really yeah, good fight. I'm, good. I'm glad we didn't look like total idiots. You guys did not look like maniacs. Like, wow. you look like two people that know what you're doing. We lied. Yeah, they were. Except there were 10 or 15 second points where we didn't know what we were doing, and that's when we lost. Like, yeah. at the end, like, I was like, uh. I had an idea. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to use that air control thing she does, where I, the thing I finished my combo with, where you do the meter burn. That's a brutality. Oh, spoilers. Yeah, it is. You don't care. Uh, and I wanted to catch you with it and show it off. And mm -hmm. I was trying to call your jumps. And then I did want her to see I did want to try it. And I was like, How uh, did my victory still become a Tyler thing? Well, I'm just talking about how we played the He's game. He's also discrediting your win. Right? Am I? Yeah. Like, oh, this is what I would have done. That's what I would have done. Right? 
Uh, excellent, guys. Uh, so that's the stream for today. We'll be back next week. Looking like next Thursday. Ooh. That's not 100%, but we're looking like next Thursday. Next Thursday. I am. You here? Yeah. You here? Yeah, I'm here. I want to thank Cole very much for helping us out today. Oh, you don't want to push those buttons. No. Oh. I would uh, go back to the old okay. button. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Cole. We uh, probably should have told yeah. you about that. Ugh. That's Burke's fault. Yeah, that is Burke's um, fault. <laughs> thank you, Cole, so much for being here. Oh, there's the face. There's the face of it. Now, Damn. what about our hint for next week? I'm going to do it. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, uh, sorry. Matt Burke will be back next week. Very excited about that. But we've had a great time here today with Cole. Guys, next week, we're going to show Noob Side Off. Whoa. That's the hint? That, that, That's the hint. People are going to be able to read into that really well. Like, Will they, though? What no, because what's great is they're now thinking about what you really mean. Like what I said, but what do I mean? Yeah. No, we'll definitely be showing uh, new next week, plus some others, which we're not going to talk about. I'm but I, everyone's been very excited about seeing that character. They thought it would be this week. I want to let people know when they can tune in 100% to see new. That is next week. Next week. All right. Likely oh. Thursday. Follow us on Twitter uh, and Facebook for Mortal Kombat to know when we're doing it. And be sure you pre-order so you get Shao Kahn. Uh, yep. We are under 30 days here, folks. Yeah, yeah it's getting exciting. Woo! So, uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I cannot wait to show you what happens next week. And, and we hope you're following. enjoying the beta, of course. Maybe we'll, see we'll catch you. We'll see you online. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Well, thank you for thanking me for watching this thing. Okay, that's kind of dope. So, it's like that, and I'm going to stop this, close it, and I'm going to bring it back to the main. Okay. That was pretty illuminating, I got to say, man. They, the, game looks, the game looks more interesting every time I look at it. So, looks like I need to investigate and see what time they're going live. I might just do a live stream of me just watching them do their thing, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm still going to take a look at, um, you know, the thing that came out. So, I'll probably try to fit that in before that, try to do all the research on that. But we still have got a lot more show for you. Please, sit back, relax, and stay tuned. You know who I am. You know who rolling with me. You know who bringing you this heat. Stay winning that handy streets. <laughs> More show for you right after these commercial messages. <laughs> yes, indeed, man. More Combat 11. The game is looking sick. I'm like trying to figure out whether I want to pre order it or not, man. I don't know. May I have to get Big Man Shao Kahn. It's looking, look, it's looking that way. But regardless, more show after these commercial messages.